This next mount, putting the pressure is probably my favorite way to mount from the side control. So, let's walk this way a little bit. Okay. So, here's where we're at. I'm the side control. And I don't need to be under his elbow right here. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start walking towards his hips, just like this, and stick my knee right in the middle. All right. Now, one knee's good, two knees are better. All right, and from here, I'm just gonna bring the right leg over, pinch it in, left leg, boom, get them out. Again, with side control, I'm going to be walking, walking back. That's going to give me this underhook right here. Once I have this underhook, my head has to go to the floor. And I like to bring my knee in. I bring my head to the floor so you can't push my head away. Go ahead, push me away. It's really hard. Now, one knee is good in the middle, but two knees are better. Now, when he tries to move, go ahead. He's stuck. He tries to move. He's just going to give me the mop. Again, on this side, side control. I start walking his hip. I get my underhook. Once I get my underhook, I keep going. I keep going. I keep going. I open him right here. Clenching my hands together. From here, he's going to be trying to maybe donkey guard me. I don't know, but I'm going to stretch my leg, get under. And catch. I'm winding him up. I do this a lot from the knee slice pass. So, my knee cut, knee slice, whatever you want to call it, knee cut, start backing it up, start backing it up, start going, start going, boom. Again, my knee cut. Knee cut. Now I start backing up my hips. What's that going to give me? My underhook. Start getting my knees through. Try to get both knees through. All right, start stretching him right here. Start stretching him. One goes over. Other one goes over. Have him up to your mouth. And so, why am I doing that? When, when his underhook is really strong, and I can't do the other ones. He yeah, has his inside elbow glued. So that's when I'm going to back it up. All right, I can do that right from the side control. All right, so if I'm here, I can just get him to turn away. Look how I push him away. He's going to turn away a little. I'll just turn this way. If I push his head, use your hand, turn, turn. Yeah, he's going to go this way. All right, so that's the idea. If I pull him in, he's going to turn into me. Either way, he's turning into me. Same thing. Catch it. Catch it. And I have him right here. My hands, if I want to make it worse for him, I could pull him in right to here. I don't even have to go to mouth. I can just go right back to side control, put more pressure. 